welcome back to my channel and it's your girl again grace it's been a while um have you guys missed me okay so now that um there has been ease of lockdown and people can go around and do one or two things and enjoy themselves and get to go to the markets to um work places i hope you guys are still keeping safe for oh, covid19 is still here right and we just want to be fine just want to stay alive and stay safe yeah so please social distancing is still key um you still have to wash your hands regularly you have to be be safe right you have to be sure of where you go to if the garden is not that important please don't be there and if you have to be there please use your mask okay so the use of mask ha cannot be overemphasized, right so covid19 is still among us and the only thing we can do is to keep safe by practicing social distancing and um, washing of hands and use of masks and all that but at uh, the average how have you guys been doing right it's been a while i've been busy but now i've got interesting topics that i would like to talk about in my forthcoming videos so please 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 subscribe to my channel if you're just watching my channel for the first time my name is grace and i am, i reside in edmonton alberta canada i am an immigrant uh, a permanent resident immigrant i got into canada january 2020 and i'm going to be sharing exciting stories about my migration to canada immigration news and updates processes and ways through which you can immigrate to canada life in canada living in canada what you need to know about a typical canadian culture workplace ethics and the rest of them right so i'm going to be today's topic is going to be an interesting one people just want to pack their bags and just move to canada but there's some important things that you have to learn while you are still in the process right about canadian workplace and um, what it's all about so if you are just joining my channel for the very first time please i'm going to be talking about the soft skills needed in a typical canadian workplace so if you are going to be hired or you are the prospective employee that a, a typical uh, employer is looking to hire what are the things that the employer is going to be looking out for in you for him or her to employ you into a typical canadian workplace a lot, so a lot of people think okay i'm um coming from nigeria i'm coming into canada i have my first degree i have my second degree masters and maybe even probably have a phd i have like 15 years experience from my previous place of work so i am good to go i am um hot cake right yes you are hot cake you are actually on fire right so because you have all these things and um yes they are art skills you have everything um the qualification but guess what all these things that you have these art skills that you have that you amassed over the years will only get you into the interview room like it will only get you across a potential employer right like bring you to my the employer's front the only thing that will get you the job in canada it's your soft skills so all the art skills you have your bsc that's the first degree your second degree and the years of experience on the job or a similar role is like 10 percent of what a potential employer is looking at and the others the other 90 percent is your soft skills so a potential employer is not looking or a hiring manager is not looking at how many years of experience that you've gotten for a particular assignment over the years they are not here to look at that because they believe in canada that soft, soft skills cannot be gotten immediately like you can't teach someone how to communicate effectively 
just immediately like um, it's not something that you can go to training school for right they believe that it should be a part of you it's your behavior your attitude your characteristics what makes you who you are it's part of you it's inbuilt and that's what they want to see and the truth is your soft skills are much more important in canada than your art skills so what you have before um your degrees and your um years of experience right just contribute 10 percent to what a potential or a hiring manager wants to see or wants to even request on so if you're submitting your resume online and the ats that's a screening software used by hiring manager screens your um resume and sends it to the ma hiring manager and you're invited for the interview right the employer wants to meet you the hiring manager wants to meet you you don't want to come and discuss how you finished from um so -so -so university or how you um got qualified as an accountant they don't want to hear all that what they want to see is who you are your behavior how you can work well in a typical canadian organization or a typical canadian company so what i've been talking about today is very important and it's one of the um topics that immigrants don't look at when they are preparing to come to canada so as you are packing and getting the process ready as you are dotting your i's and crossing your t's this particular topic is what you want to lay emphasis on and you want to really work on yourself because the truth is once you're sitting across an hiring manager a professional one you cannot fake it you cannot fake the soft skills that you don't have they know they will give you scenarios that will probe some questions and some answers they want to see you speak they want to see how you handle a particular situation they want to see how you manage to fit in a particular workplace right they want to see that um you're versatile you can work together you can work well in the team you can work alone you can communicate effectively you have these great leadership skills they, they can see that you are the whole package of what they actually look at in a potential employee so they believe that art skills are easily gotten right because um for example um, i studied geology right for my first degree and i worked in a bank and that's because I, just, I was just trained i had to go through the accounting softwares um do all these um work uh, workplace ethics do some um accounting things and i'm good and that's their mindset also they can easily train you for any job that they want you to do right you can easily be trained for that but the soft skills is not something that you can get over six months over one year over two years because they want to see it in you already it's it's who you are and it's not trainable it well you can later get it but it has to be over time and they want you to start this work now and they want you to they want to see that you won't come into a typical workplace and come and create chaos right so the first clear i'm going to be talking about the soft the first soft skill i'm going to be talking about that is needed in a typical canadian workplace and any immigrant migrating to canada should have is communication skills so what is communication skills right um you want to be able to communicate effectively such that when you encode your messages or um what, what you want to relay or speak to someone you are actually passing the message across and not um you you know the right channel to send your messages you want to use non-verbal or verbal and um the receiver that either your colleague your client in the office or whoever the person is can understand can interpret this message is well without interference without um having another meaning so they want to see that a, pot a potential um employee can communicate effectively can represent the company the organization in public speaking in presentation in relating with um colleagues doing small talks during lunch hour they want to see that you can communicate you can pass your message across to anyone effectively this is actually important in our everyday life right you want to like as you're coming to canada if english is not your first language you want to brush up your skills about that if you want if you, if you want to know french because it's a bilingual country you want to get that in the bag also you want to 
make sure that you relate well with people you you mix with people you you're just not um even though your person your personality might have one or two things to do with how we relate or how we communicate but you don't want it to be well pronounced like you don't want to say oh i'm i'm, I'm a stimulator and, and, and I, I don't talk much so I, i'm just gonna be you know calm and um no they, they want to see that if you get to a place you can fit in you can communicate you are you, you can lay out your messages well right your um what you want to say your speech your you can think it interpret it and let the other person understand right and you want to they want to say that you're an active listener okay so you are in a room and someone is talking you're not just you know having this closed body language demeanor right they want to see that you're an active listener you can ask questions to gain more understanding you can provide feedback right you can ask for clarification they want to see all that in you and they want to see that you don't just go on interrupting people uh on the other hand they don't want you to keep quiet like just be silent and just be listening and then okay 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 they don't want all that they want it to be like a ping pong game like they talk you talk they talk you talk not while they are talking you are interrupting you are just giving your opinion or trying to force your opinion on them so communication skill is actually very wide so you want to brush up your communication skills you want to know what is obtainable in this new country that i'm going to as i am immigrating to canada i want to see that i can live well in canada living in canada is going to be easy for me working in a canadian workplace is going to be easy for me because i have a, the right communication skills right so when you get into an interview room a typical IRA manager wants you to communicate freely so when you enter into enter into that interview room the first thing they will do is to introduce themselves and give you a brief description of what they do or who they are just to make you feel comfortable so that it won't be like um it's anxiety that didn't make me communicate well so they want you to you know be free you know make it conversational so that they can see how well you display your communication skills how well you pass your messages across right they want to see all that so know that once you're going into a, an interview room with a canadian employer or a hiring manager you're not going there to sell your ad skills guys you're not going there to sell your ad skills you're going there to sell yourself your behavioral skills how you um present things across how you deal with scenarios just about your behavior right and your attitude and your and who you are your person and your personality that's what you're going there to sell right so they've seen all the art skills that you have on your resume they've seen all that and they are really not interested in that right there because they're not even going to ask you what you've done in school um what what, what qualification you finished with they've seen all that now that you're here they want to see how you're going to handle how you situations how you're going to communicate well so for the first task that is very important that any immigrant should have is communication skills now the second one is conflict management and resolution so they want to be sure that when they you're hired you will not turn the workplace into a chaotic place okay so they well, they understand that in a typical Canadian workplace, there are different personalities, right? We all know the different personalities that we have. So they want to see how you're going to manage a situation. So trust me, for most of the interview sessions, right, you will be asked a, a scenario question that has to do with conflict management and resolution. They want to see how you how you maintain your cool how you balance this well in case a conflict arises and now they know that the conflict might range from your co-workers in the office your manager your supervisor 
or even a client so they want to see whether you're going to avoid the conflict altogether whether you're going to collaborate whether you're going to reach a compromise whether you're going to accommodate other people right so they want to see all that they want to be sure that you don't go bonkers on them and start competing unnecessarily or raise the roof or cry or do all that right so they want to see how when um a conflict breaks out how you're going to manage it effectively so they're going to print a scenario like um tell us about a particular time when so 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 right they want to see how you take criticism and um this particular one i was asked in one of my interviews that um you, you you've been asked to uh bring together a team and you guys have worked um hard to get the results but at the end of the day you were criticized about another they want to see how you're going to handle criticism they want to see that you won't take it personal you won't go go on and say oh they want to spoil my work oh yeah no they want to do mm -mm. they want to see that you won't take it personal that you even ask for suggestions right you ask you you will you will ask the person giving the criticism suggestion on how to make things better they want to see that you you as a person you've you've been able to manage your emotions you've been able to handle things and understand that okay it's on the job and everything i do is going to is to make my workplace a better place right so they want to hear that they want to see that you will not bring negative office politics to work and you won't go on office gossip that will bring conflict into a typical workplace so they're going to give you that scenario and when you're answering please you want to have brushed up the skills before coming to canada when you're answering all these questions be sensitive because they are they are reading your demeanor and if you're saying oh so i was just being criticized and you're already rolling your eyes they know that hmm they can imagine what what had happened back then right even though you were saying um so i was just calm i was just um you know but you're already your, your body language they are reading everything out the, the non-verbal communication they are seeing that remembering it you're already boiling so please you want to be conscious of um the environment conscious of ourselves when answering a typical interview question in um when answering a typical interview question and so you want to have uh, brushing up your conflict management and resolution skills before coming to canada and that is our number two number three number three presentation skills this is very very important now a potential employee is going to be representing the company right you have the image that they're going to project whether to clients to the public to the society to your co-workers and um, you have workshop trainings meetings that you go to or you want to go and sell a pitch to a, cost, a potential client and they want you to be able to present yourself effectively right like one major problem for me when it comes to presentation skill is anxiety like before the start before i start i'm already panicking and um afraid and shaky and for the first um 10 seconds or 15 seconds i'm like oh my god like oh this floor should just open and let me just enter see all the faces and all that but they want to see that you've mastered your art well and that you've overcome the fear the anxiety um you, you are able to create a workshop effectively you know the good presentation versus bad presentation skills that you have to employ you know what your company your audience a typical audience wants to hear like if you have a presentation for your co co-workers you know their personality right you, you have you're working with them so they want to see how you will effectively um put into consideration their personality when you are doing your when you are creating your um powerpoint presentation or even if it's not powerpoint if you just have to walk in and speak to them so they want to see that it's part of you that you've dealt with it so they want to be sure that you have that skills and you're always smiling about it right you also see the confidence you exude so communication skills is a third soft skills that is needed in a typical canadian workplace that any immigrant coming into canada should have 
number four now when you have this presentation skills right what is it being used for is it for just for me to talk to my um co-workers or a friend or what what now this brings me to my fourth soft skill that is needed which is networking and small talks okay so because of the kind of um personality that various people have yeah some people that have the tendency of entering a room and just sitting down and just or just press their phones and not try to keep eye contact with anyone but they want to see someone who even with your personality like you don't talk much right can come into a room look up to whoever he or she is meeting smile keep eye contact not stare there's difference between keeping eye contact and staring so they want to see you come into a room smile and say hello my name is my name is grace and i so they want to see all that right because they believe that networking is key you want to sell a company sell an organization sell a brand sell a product meet with people broaden your scope you do all that through networking and i have to say this at this point please 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 if you're an immigrant coming into canada please go and brush up your linkedin profile you want to remove the the controversial things and put the interesting things you want to comment on um topics that are that are not controversial but um useful like people find fascinating and interesting to talk about and you want to add your own sense into it right you want to come across as being knowledgeable so please at this point your linkedin profile should be up to date and on point because most of the networkings that is being done in canada is through linkedin so you go for conferences okay for for example i would want like if i want to go for a conference and i see the speakers the people that will come to talk to us during this conference i would go to linkedin check up their profile look at what they do or how they relate yeah I, I, I can see their line of thoughts from all the comments that they've that they've written so far right i want to be familiar with them and that's networking so networking is your foot in the door it's it helps to you know seal a deal create a deal you cannot um, be sure of how far a new network will take you right but you don't also want to get into a conference room especially for people who are job seekers and you just meet a new person and you just say please i need a job no it's a no no so they want to see how you can come into a place as a soft skill that is already in you and network and have small talk small talks with people and just flow right so this is one of the soft skills that they actually look forward to in canada the fifth soft skill i'm going to be talking about is leadership stroke initiative so they want to see that the person they are hiring has leadership potential maybe you're not a leader right like, like maybe you're not from your past experience maybe you were not the manager or but they want to see that in you you have this leadership um this leadership traits you can take charge you can you're self-directed right because here in canada what we have the kind of um a typical canadian workplace is not hierarchical you know now back in nigeria back in my own country you can you have to step up the ladder from from if, if you have an idea you have to speak with your direct supervisor first then that one takes it to the next his own direct supervisor then the supervisor takes it to, you can't just jump the ladder right but here it's egalitarian so the 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 hierarchy is kind of shorter where if if you have um uh, you can take where you can take charge of your environment you can take charge of your workspace you can make an informed decision on your own right so so i had this um interview when i first landed with bmo with bmo and um i had four interviews and i discovered that i couldn't get past the phone interviews right 
it was really bothering me because they asked questions like um a customer came into the branch and um okay no no sorry it was a question on describe a scenario where you had to you had you had an issue with with an, with an irate customer something like that right and because of what i've been used to back in my home country i i, I was like okay i would um talk to the customer but if not i will take the customer to the to my supervisor i will ask the customer to sit down you know treat the customer as king while we try to resolve the issue but on your own you should be a problem solver they want to see that take leadership take charge they don't want to see someone an, an employee who would always look up to the supervisor for everything that is not a good leadership trait they want to see that you take charge if you are involved in a teamwork you're taking charge you're um um you you guys are collaborating you are you're sharing tax appropriately you are meeting deadlines you're so they want to see that they want to see that you can take initiative right you can you know what you're supposed to do the one when you want to go outside the box and um, think about something different that will benefit the workplace if there's a way they are doing things and um, there's another way that you feel that they should do it with a much more short term timeline and more productivity they want to see someone that has all these qualities right and they are soft skills you cannot get that from any university you cannot get that as a certificate right but they want to see it as part of you right they want to see that it, it's something you're used to it's it's a culture for you it's a personal culture you've been groomed now a leadership skill is not something you can just get within six months or within four months and that's why they want to see it in a potential employee at first glance they want to see that you have it that means you have 90 percent of what they need in a canadian workplace your certificate like i said is just 10 percent do you guys get it it's just 10 percent it's soft skill sells more in canada and that's why when they say um you don't have a canadian experience it is not that it is the certificates that they are talking about no they are saying that you're a new immigrant to canada you just you just started living in canada and um whether you came through work permits or through permanent residency or express entry or, or whatever when they say you don't have a canadian experience they're not looking at the certificates no but they know that if you have worked in canada for one year two years three years your former place of work must have um groomed you or remove your perspective and perception about the canadian workplace right they will know that if you have worked in a canadian workplace setting prior to coming for that interview you would have um built your communication skills right you would have been more expressive your presentation skills would have improved they would have known that one way or the other there has been conflict and then um, you've been groomed to manage it effectively and that's the experience that they are looking for that's the experience that they are talking about and and, and a lot of people say how would i get this canadian experience when I, I have seen new immigrants but because who has come into canada and has gotten a job in a blue chip company in like in a in a, in a big league company and that's because they have the skills already in them and trust me if an hiring manager a professional one is talking to you or with you for 10 15 20 minutes he or she knows what you have they are that brilliant they know you know when you're faking it and you're just reading from a script or they know when you're really really into it like when the stuff is part of you so you want to brush up your leadership skills you want to take charge you want to bring initiative to the table so leadership and initiative mm, they want to see that right so the next um soft skill i want to be talking about is accepting criticism and because i have spoken about it in my other points i wouldn't want to flog it so much so when you're being criticized in the uh, in the office they want to see how you take it 
is it that you take it as being personal or trying to victimize you or you take it as a positive feedback and you ask for suggestion and you work on it now how would they know whether you're going to take it they're going to give you a scenario that would make you uh, uh, they will give you a typical scenario that will be like a criticism so when you are in that interview room they would ask you questions that um, surrounds being criticized in a typical workplace and how you handled it or what your what your thought was about it right you don't want to go on saying that oh no uh, with all the hard work that I did for that company after all the uh, three months six months okay, somebody now said and like I said by the time you are even doing your non-verbal communication, they already know what went down, right? So you want to back home, back in your own country. Now, when you have um, a group tax or a teamwork thing to do, you want to ask other people to criticize your work and just open your mind and um, see it as a positive feedback and brush it and ask for suggestions so that it's 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 just part of you to take it all in and not be mad about it or be disappointed or feel bad right yeah so you want to um master that act, act also and another thing that they look out for is your adaptability skills they know you're coming from a different country or a different continent and they know that it is hard to be here and that's why really that's why you see a typical canadian or somebody who has been here or is or alive or maybe was born here they just grow up being a leader like you have in a typical workplace someone that is 23 years old being a manager and just taking charge you can and the truth is you can say it like right you can see it like this person is truly a leader from the demeanor attitude the smile like a complete package right so it's part of their own culture they've been groomed to be like that now so if they are going to be employing a new immigrant they want to to be able to adapt and adaptability skill is very difficult and that's why some people just come into canada and have culture shock cultural shock and and they they don't even know what to do they don't know how to move ahead with that and that's my next video so people just come and they want and they don't know how to adapt so they want to see your adaptability skills are you ready to learn new skills are you open to new ideas are you able to accept change and embrace change and um maybe one minute you are in this unit and the other minute they are asking you to move to the other unit and you won't be lamenting and complaining and being you know sad and morose they want to see that even when they switch you over or maybe they change your team members or they assign you to another supervisor you're quick to adapt you're quick to the to accept the change and move on and make everything work well for you you're authentic and confident you're just you know taking the bull by the arm they want to see and they are not going to wait for you to get like I've, like i've been saying they are not going to wait for you to get to the workplace and come and be showing all that they're going to be asking you scenario based questions on all these skills right so even if even though they're going to ask you about your strength and your weaknesses they still want to ask you scenario based questions that will show whether you're a true leader whether you can communicate well whether you can resolve conflict whether you can accept criticism whether you are uh, you take initiative whether you can adapt to change what change means for you right one of the questions they even ask is why did you decide to relocate or why td bank or you've been working with bmo why rbc right they want to see why you think the change is necessary or why you decided to move over or to come over on and how you've been adapting and um you know even adapting to the weather in canada is a skill right it's very cold and winter will soon be here we're expecting winter in september ha ah, but right now we're still enjoying the summer the sun is out it's beautiful it's beautiful guys it's beautiful so they want to see all that they want to see your adaptability skill and how you can um you know just um 
enjoy the workplace environment and and make it your own because the truth is most time most active time of our day-to-day -day life is spent with the off it's spent in the office and with our co-workers and our clients and our bosses and they want to see that it's just part of you right you enjoy every bit of it you don't want a gloomy a gloomy employee right so they want to see your adaptability skills and another important and last third skill that is being looked out for in canada is self-direction and individualism what do i mean to learn more on your own to research more on your own look for how to make things better look look at what you're supposed to do don't wait for there's no avenue to wait for an employer or a boss or a supervisor to tell you this is the next thing to do right they want to say you're self-directed okay today this is what i want to do i'm uh, highlighting them this one two three four five six okay though there might be changes i might have another thing from my supervisor okay i can put it in but then i'm not waiting for my supervisor to tell me today you're going to do one two three four yes so you want to see that you're self-directed you want to make your own connections solve your own problem and that's what self-directed learners do you want to make your own connections connect with what you have done in the past to solve a particular problem to solve a particular situation to to solve these facts they want to so that you can ask questions right they, they want to see that you you just know what to do and they want to see the sense of individualism i can take charge on my own if i want to work if i have to work in a group or in a team yes i can do all that but on my own i'm self-sufficient not like when they will give you a tax to do and you say oh if i don't see xyz or he or uh him or her, I cannot work and I cannot do it, I cannot resolve it. No, they don't, they, they are not looking out for that. That's that's disastrous in a Canadian workplace environment. No, no, no. So, as an immigrant, and you are used to doing things in just a group, or you're used to your just price of sending you that mail in the morning, treat this, um, attend to this, um, um, resolve this, and when you're not done, you're not say done, treated. No, that doesn't work here. Nobody will come and tell you that this is what you're supposed to do. So far, it's coming to you and you know it's your tax. And even if it's your, not your tax, but you know how to resolve it, take initiative. Just like I said, take initiative and get it resolved. So, um, in a Canadian workplace, their values, their values, in, so in a Canadian workplace, the values is based on communication, equality, self-direction, teamwork, right? So, you want to see all this um time management informality right you can't go into a place and start calling them uh, uh, mrs um what 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 and they, they want to see that you can improve yourself right so they want to see self-improvement they want to see quality and um everybody every here yeah, everyone is the same right everyone is the same so you have a group head a typical group head in nigeria coming to your table as a new hire or an entry level are just you know asking you what have you done today okay like okay what 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 are you doing like what are you doing like um not not asking you what's like something like what's new they just want to know what you're involved with and you don't they don't have to you know wait for your supervisor to everybody's equal so they can just walk up to you they want to see your communication skills they want to know or know your time management here time management is key right don't waste people's time i keep saying it i i have spoken with some people and i say time management is important in canada you don't waste people's time you don't have an appointment for two and get there to 15 or to 30 everybody's time is precious and they, they believe that if you are in the workplace it is for work right it is for work you have to do the work and just you know it's part of productivity so in a canadian workplace you can't come here and be pressing phone <laughs> there's time for phone which is during your lunch hours or your break time but you can't be here and time for productivity and moving the company forward you're pressing phone i oh, no, no, no. or you want to go out and you know quickly get to the store and get something no 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 Canadian workplace, they will pay you for the value, right? Uh, but they want you to work. They want you to put in all your productivity, all your productive energy into it. So, you guys, 
so guys you see just if if you, if you now have a rethink about all these things i've said what do you think would be your own um line to tow also would you just prefer to go for that person who has all the qualification or the one who you can teach to be qualified but has all these great skills that makes a workplace um interesting and lively and productive which would you go for so you see when 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 um you hear canadian express now you know what they mean right and when they say 10 percent productivity is from art skill and 90 percent is from soft skills now you know what they mean so you want to brush up on all that and come in as a whole package as an immigrant to canada right so if you're coming through your express entry probation nomination um work permits aip atlantic immigration pilot program and you want to move into canada and start working the the canadian workplace isn't a myth right it's something that's accessible and something that can be gotten so you want to work in a very nice company yes but be ready to bring in your soft skills into canada so i hope that today's oh, how do i sound like a preacher <laughs> okay so with all this i have said now i'm sounding like somebody that wants to debate okay so I'm, I'm sure that you've learned one or two things about um soft skills that is needed in a typical canadian workplace and i'm sure that you're looking at yourself and then looking at what you have what you want to what you need to brush up on and um, new skills that you want to build rare right before coming over so that you're a complete package for a potential hiring manager or for a hiring manager or a potential employer so if you have not subscribed to my channel and you have finished watching this video and you've learned one or two things or you know somebody that will need this video and you've not shared my video right you know you're not helping my ministry now yeah so you need to click this subscription button right here below now right just click it and click the share you can send the link to as many people as you think would love to hear this video of mine and um, like it and send in your comments so i want to see and hear from you guys the soft skills that you have now or the one i've not mentioned but you think you have and you want to know whether it is um, applicable or in canada please put them in my comment section and i will engage you on it and i'm going to be describing my, uh, my other videos my former videos in the description box also and like i said new video alert cultural shock in canada you would want to miss it it's cold here and it's totally different from what we used to know back in our own country canada is an exciting place to be and it's a total new world on its own so i'm sure that with um this video you're already thinking about the soft skills that you need to improve on and you and i'm sure that by the time you come into canada as an immigrant as a new immigrant you're better for it so please 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 click on my subscription button below please click it now please click it because i'm still going to be talking about all other things that is obtainable in a canadian workplace till i come your way another time this is grace of gracie travels and uh, i love you guys bye, -bye.